Feet up this distance apart, have nice and small. Try to do this. Sides of those abdominals. Inhale, exhale, chin to chest as you slowly roll down. Relax the arms, relaxing the head, pressing tailbone to the ceiling. Inhale. And exhale, softening the knees as you slowly roll out, tilting your pubic bone forward. Grab nice and tall, shoulders back. Inhale. Exhale, curling down deep in those abdominals. Align through the knees. Inhale. And exhale, slowly curl back up. Belly button to the spine and tighten your waist. Inhale. Exhale, curling down. Tailbone to the ceiling. Try straighten those legs. Inhale. And exhale, roll up. Tilting pubic bone forward. Up and tall, shoulders back. Inhale. And exhale, curling down. Belly button to the spine. Try to get your body and your head closer to your legs. Inhale. And exhale, slowly roll up. Inhale. And exhale, curl down. Now soften your knees a little bit more. Either hands onto the floor or onto the ankles. Just bring the body and the head closer down. And all you're going to do is straighten the right leg. So you feel that right hamstring stretching, maybe even the calf. Just hold and breathe. Make sure shoulders are relaxed. Neck is relaxed. And then soften that right knee and then you straighten the left. Hold and breathe. And then soften both the knees, inhale and exhale, slowly roll up. Now take your right leg and you're going to cross it over the left. And then you're going to come all the way down. And then I want you to twist over to the right. As far as you can go. And just hold it there. And then you're going to walk your hands all the way over to the left and hold it there. And then slowly return to the center and we slowly curl up, use those abdominals. And then change the leg, so cross left leg in front. And then we're going to curl down. And then we walk the hands all the way over to the leg. Hold it there, breathe. Hang the head, shoulders relaxed. And then walk the hands through the center all the way over to the right. Hold it there. Thank you. 
and then return to the center and slowly curl up. And then you're going to uncross and I want you to bring your feet together. If you find like you're losing your balance, you're welcome to open the feet a little bit. Okay, so first I'll just put hands on the hips. So as you sit back, think about tucking your tailbone forward. So we're going to sit back, keep tucking tailbone forward. So then you're not arching into your lower back. And then you're going to come up, squeeze those glutes. And you're going to sit back for two. And up. Sit back for three. And up. For four. And up. Down for five. And up. Sitting back for six. And up. For seven. And up. Four, eight. Hold it here. So making sure you're still tilting cubic bone forward. Tuck those ribs in. Little pulses. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now hold it there. Keep those abs in and shoulders out of your ears. We're going to lift both the heels up and lower them down. Both up for two. And lower. Up three. And lower. Up for four. And lower. For five. And lower. For six. And lower. For seven. Lower. For eight. Now from here, lower just the right heel. And then we inhale. Exhale, we change for one. Change two, change three, change four, change five, change six, change seven, change eight. Lift both the heels up and we're going to try pulse here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now from here, lower both the heels. Bring your hands down. So making sure here you're still tilting your cubic bone forward. Abs are in, ribs are tucked in. You're going to reach right arm up. So press that thumb behind you and then lower it down. And then lift. And lower. So if you need to open the arm wider to keep the shoulder out of your ear, you can do that. And lift. Keep sitting further down into your chair. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Now from here, you're going to inhale. Exhale, we change one. Change two. Press that thumb back. Change three. Change four. Change five, change six, change seven, change eight. Both arms come down. Make sure you're sitting a little bit further back. I want weight on your heels. So you can even lift those toes up a little bit. Both arms. We reach them up and exhale, we lower. Inhale, reach up two and lower. Reach up three and lower. Four, four and lower as I am. Four, five and lower. Four, six, lower. Four, seven. Four, eight. Hold them there. Turn your palms to face forward. Sit a little bit deeper. We swim with the arms. So everything is still except for those arms. We inhale for one. And exhale. Try to get them past your ears. Inhale for two. And exhale. Inhale for three. And exhale. Inhale for four. 
and exhale. Inhale for five, and exhale. Last one for six, and exhale. And then from here, just reach for the floor, straighten those legs, bring your body and your head closer to the knees. Holding and breathing. And then soften your knees, inhale, and exhale, slowly we curl up. Reach shoulders back, and then calf raise, inhale, coming up. Try to keep your heels together, and then slowly come down. Reach it up for two, and slowly down. Reaching up three, slowly down. Reach up for four, slowly down. Up for five, slowly down. Up for six, slowly down. Reaching up seven, slowly down. Up uh, for eight, hold it there. Lower the right heel, bend into the left leg. Inhale, exhale, we change one. Change two, change three, change four, change five, change six, change seven, and change eight. Now from here, you're going to take the right leg behind you. So the leg you're standing on, I don't want it locked straight, there's a tiny little bend. We inhale, exhale, we're going to lean forward and you're going to lift the right leg up. So you're going to find your balance, inhale. Exhale, return, try and not put that right foot down. If you're struggling with your balance, you can hold on to something. Inhale, exhale, we lean forward for two. Tight and those abdominals. Inhale. Exhale, return. Inhale. Exhale, leaning forward for three. So that leg you're standing on is what's going to be working. Inhale. Exhale, return. Inhale. Exhale, leaning forward for four. Inhale, exhale, return. Inhale, exhale for five. Inhale, exhale, control it back. Inhale, and exhale forward for six. Inhale, exhale, return. Inhale, exhale, reaching forward for seven. Inhale, exhale, return. Last one, inhale, exhale for eight. Inhale, exhale, return. Now from here, bend the right leg, and then you're going to grab it with the right hand. So we're just stretching into that quad. So you're going to take it back, tilt pubic bone forward to increase the stretch. Just hold, stretch, balance. Now if you want to take it a step further, you're going to hold on the side of the foot by the big toe, so the inside. You're going to lean forward, you're going to kick that foot back into your hand and reach it up. Hold and breathe. And slowly return. And then we're going to do the other side. So, take my left leg back. Reach the arms up. Tie to those abdominals, strengthen that leg you're standing on. Inhale. Exhale, we lean forward, lifting that left leg up behind you. 
hold, inhale, exhale, right turn to your heart by that leg if you can, inhale, exhale, we're reaching forward for two, inhale, exhale, right turn, keep shoulders out of your ears, inhale, exhale, we reach forward for three, inhale, Exhale, return. Inhale. Exhale, reach forward for four. Inhale. Exhale, return. Inhale. Exhale, reaching forward for five. Inhale. Exhale, return. Inhale, exhale, reach forward for six. Inhale, exhale, return. Inhale, and exhale, we reach forward for seven. Belly button to the spine. Inhale, exhale, return. Last one, inhale, exhale, we reach forward for eight. Inhale, exhale, we return, we bend into that left leg, grab it with the left hand, hold that quad stretch. So making sure you're tilting your pubic bone forward, think about bringing that foot closer to your head. And if you want to take it a step further, you grab on the inside of the foot, Lean forward, pressing that foot back into your hand, reaching for the ceiling. Breathe. And then slowly return. And then you're going to open the legs wide, turning the feet upward. Okay, so from here, as we come down, press your tailbone forward and your knees back. So we're going to come down, so pressing tailbone forward, knees back. That'll keep you up nice and tall. And then we're going to squeeze up. And we come down for two. And squeeze up. We also feel a stretching into those hips. Down for three. And squeeze up. Down for four, squeeze up. Down for five, squeeze up. Down for six, and down for seven, and for eight. Hold it here. So making sure you're still tilting pubic bone forward, you're pressing knees back. We pulse down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. From here, shift your weight over to your right. This knee isn't over the toe, but your weight is on that right side. We pulse again. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one. Shift the weight all the way to the left. And again, we pulse. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. To the centre. Again, tilt pubic bone forward. Press those knees back. For ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Take the weight to the right. Pulse again. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All the way to the left and pulse. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. 
three, two, one. Now just go all the way over to the right, straight knee to the left. And you're just gonna go into a nice side bend. Keep shoulders out of your ears. Open chest up towards the ceiling and really reach over. So it's my legs more than the stretch. <laughs> And then all the way over to the other side. Keeping shoulders out of your ears. And then slowly return. Bringing the feet a little bit closer. Okay, last standing one. You're going to take your hands and select them behind the head. Now you want to keep pressing your head back into your hands. This helps you to stop leaning forward. Okay, so we're going to do a squat. Keep pressing head back. Lift right knee up, twist towards it. And then we squat. Other side, twist. Squat, twist, and squat, twist, squat, twist. Keep those abs in. Twist, 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 squat, twist, squat, twist, squat. Twist, squat, now don't twist but lift the knee and we hold. Shoulders out of your ears, then knees lifted as high as you can. Hold for 10, 9, <coughs> 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Squat again and then we lift the left and we hold. Lift it high, abs are in. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and place it down. Relax the arms and then come down onto your mat. If you need a water break, you can quickly have a water break. <coughs> Before we come all the way down, just put the soles of the feet together, grab onto your toes, bring the feet a little bit closer and you're gonna try to get the elbows to the mat. Hang the head. Now straighten the inside of your hips. Into the groin area. And then slow it up, bringing the feet back up. Feet and knees are going to be fist distance and you're going to curl all the way down. Leaving your arms down next to your sides. Really lengthen those arms and press hard into the mat. You might need to bring your feet a little bit closer. Just make sure those knees are still fist distance. We inhale. Exhale, you're going to scoop through your pelvis, tilting pubic bone up towards the ceiling as you slowly lift one vertebra at a time. Now you hold it here and we're going to go into calf raises. So inhale, lift and then slowly lower. Up for two and lower. Up for three and lower. For four and lower, for five and lower, for six and lower, for seven, lower, for eight. Now hold it there, just lower the right heel. Really press that right heel into the mat and try and lift those hips up a little bit higher. Keep pressing, keep pressing. 
So by pressing that right heel down, you should be feeling that right calf, that right hamstring, that right glute. And then change. So lift the right heel, press the left down. Make sure that inner thigh is still working, so that knee isn't falling out to the side. Keep pressing that left heel into the mat. Keep pressing hips a little bit higher. Keep pressing shoulders down. And then from here, we're going to inhale. Exhale, we change for one, change two, change three, change four, change five, change six, change seven, change eight. Lift both the heels, keep both heels lifted. We inhale and exhale, we curl down one vertebra at a time. Again, we inhale. Exhale, scoop through the pelvis, lifting the hips up. Work those inner thighs, keeping that fist distance apart. Inhale. And exhale, slow control it down. Remember to tighten the waist, tighten that belly button. Inhale. Exhale, slowly up, transferring your knees towards the feet as you lift. Lift a little higher, squeezing into the glutes. Inhale. And exhale, we slowly curl down. Inhale. Exhale, slowly lift. Hold it there. Reach your arms up to the ceiling and take them all the way behind you, resting them down onto the mat. You can have them a little bit wider so that you can keep shoulders out of your ears. And then we inhale. Exhale, curling down, lengthening the spine down along the mat. And then I want you to lower both the heels. And you're going to lift the right leg up to tabletop. Lock the knee in that position. So now you're going to work the left leg quite hard and make sure that left inner thigh is working. Inhale. Exhale, scoot through the pelvis as you lift the hips up. Inhale. And exhale, we curl down. Inhale. Exhale, lifting up for two. Inhale. And exhale, we control it down. Feeling that left hamstring working hard. Inhale. Exhale, we curl up for three. Deep in those abdominals. Inhale. Exhale, control it down. Inhale, exhale, we lift up for four. Inhale, and exhale, control it down. Inhale, exhale, up for five. Now we're going to do little quick ones, ten of them, and we have ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Hold it there. We're almost there. This right leg. Lock it at tabletop. Point that foot. Inhale. Tip it down onto the mat for one. And exhale. We lift it up. Inhale. Tip down two. Exhale. Up. Tip it down three. Exhale. Up. Tip it down for four. Exhale. Up. Down for five. And lift. Down for six, left, down for seven, left, last one for eight, and left. Inhale here, and exhale, curl down one vertebra at a time, and then you can place that right foot down. Then we're going to do it on the other side. So from the left leg to tabletop, point that foot. So activate that right hamstring, right inner thigh, inhale, exhale, scoop through the pelvis, lifting the hips up. Inhale, and exhale, lengthening the spine down. Inhale, exhale, tighten those abdominals as you slowly lift, use that glute, use that hamstring, use that inner thigh, inhale. And exhale, curl down. Inhale. 
Inhale. Exhale, slowly left for three. Make sure you're lengthening through the back of your neck so you're looking towards your knees. Inhale. And exhale, curl down. Two more slow ones. Inhale. Exhale up. Try to lift a little bit higher. Inhale. And exhale, curling down. Inhale, exhale up. And then we're going to do 10 quick ones and lift. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We hold it here. Lock that knee. Point that foot in. Help to left foot down. And exhale, bring it up. Inhale, tip down two. Exhale, tip down three. Exhale, tip down for four. Exhale, down for five. Exhale, down for six. Exhale, down for seven. And lift. Last one for eight. And lift. Hold, inhale. And exhale, curl down. One vertebra at a time. Lengthen that left leg down along the mat. Lengthen the right leg. Squeeze those legs to get a point into the feet. Lift the arms just off the mat. Press ribs down. Turn your palms to face each other. Inhale, lift the arms, followed by the head and chest. Exhale, we're just going to come up a little bit. So you're going to lift shoulder blades off the mat. You're going to press lower back into the mat. You're going to tilt your cubic bone up. Inhale. And then exhale. We're going to control it down. Keep your ribs pressing down as you reach the arms back. Inhale, lifting the arms, followed by the head and chest. Exhale, lifting just a little. Make sure you're pointing into those feet. And you're lengthening those legs away from you. Tighten those quads. Sink that belly button, inhale. Exhale, we return. Inhale, lift the arms, head and chest. Exhale, tilting pubic bone up towards the ceiling. Inhale, exhale, return. Inhale, lift arms, head and chest. Exhale, up. Now, only if you can, you can come all the way up. I don't want anyone using the floor to help you up. If you need to use the floor, you stay in here. Inhale. Exhale. Curl up only if you can. Shoulders and hips are in line back is round. Still pointing those feet. Inhale. Exhale. We slowly control it down. Keep tilting pubic bone up towards the ceiling. Ribs pressing down as you reach the arms back. Inhale, lifting the arms, head and chest. Hold it there for a little bit before you come all the way up. Inhale. And exhale, slowly cool down. Inhale, lifting the arms, head and chest. And exhale, slowly up. You're not using momentum, you're using those tummy muscles. Inhale. And exhale, slowly curl down. Last one, inhale, lift the arms, head and chest, and exhale. Okay, then you're going to sit up nice and tall. Make sure you're sitting right on top of your sitting bones. Legs stay together, you're going to flex your feet. Reach the arms in front, press down with the shoulders, we inhale. Exhale, we're going to reach forward. Now from here, on an inhale, you're going to press the thumbs up to the ceiling. 
Stick your chest through the arms so you feel those back muscles work. And then you're going to come all the way back. Inhale. Exhale. You're going to circle the arm around as you reach forward. Holding it there. Inhale. On an exhale, start pressing the thumbs back, chest through the arms. And then all the way up. Inhale. Exhale. We circle the arms around and we reach forward. Legs are straight. Feet are flexed. Inhale. <coughs> Exhale. We start extending, keeping shoulders out of your ears. Feel those back muscles working and slowly up. Inhale. Exhale. Circle the arms around as you reach forward. Hold, inhale, exhale, start extending, flatten into that back, and then slowly up, inhale, exhale, circle the arms around as you reach forward. Holding it, inhale, exhale, extend. Inhale, exhale, circle the arms around as you reach forward. Holding, inhale, exhale, flattening into the back. Hold it here this time. And we pulse the thumbs back for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One now from here, just lower your hands down to the mat. Your feet are still flexed, abs are still in. Now I want you to try and lift the right leg up. So we're still leaning forward a little bit, and you're gonna lift the right leg. We hold it. Hold for another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one, place it down. And then we're going to lift the left leg and relax. As I in, hold for another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, place it down, reach for those toes and bring your head closer down to the knee. Relaxing into the head and neck, shoulders relaxed. And then slowly you're going to come up just a little bit, so you're back into that same position. Now the feet are flexed. Now I want you to turn them both into a knee. Shoulders out of the ears. Abs are in. And again, we're going to lift that right leg up. And we hold. Hold for another 10. 9 left. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Place it down. Feet are still flexed and turned out, lift the left. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and place it down. Sit up nice and tall, chest through the arms. I want you to bend into the legs. So I'm going to give you two options. <clears throat> you can hold behind your knees and you do the slow rolling up ball. Let the head slowly come up without letting the feet touch the floor. If you can't come all the way up, you just come up to where you can and lower it down. Okay. If you're okay with that one or you find it too easy, you're going to put the soles of the feet together, open the knees. You're going to bring your arms through the middle and then around and you're going to grab them too. Okay, now from here, 
You're gonna roll back and roll back up. Make sure you're tightening pelvic floor and you wanna keep your spine rounded so your eye lines on your belly button. And then if you can, you're gonna also tap your feet three times. But make sure you're not just tapping the feet, you actually want that movement to come from the hip. Okay, so you're gonna tap three times. One, two, three. Inhale, roll back. Exhale, come back up and we tap. One, two, three. Inhale, go back. Exhale, up. Whoop. One, two, three. Now, if that's easy for you, you're going to tap at the back and at the front. So you tap. One, two, three. Inhale, go back and tap. One, two, three. Come up and tap. One, two, three. Inhale, go back, tap. One, two, three. And up. Tap. Two, three. And curl. Tap. Two, three. And up. Tap. Two, three. And curl. Tap. Two, three, and up. Two, three, and curl. Tap, two, three, and up. Tap. One more. Curl. One, two, three, and up. Two, three. And then just hug those knees. Lifting the legs up. Open the knees so they align with the shoulders. You can still hold those knees if you feel more comfortable there, or else you're going to grab onto your ankles. If you're okay here, we're going to straighten. So on any rounding spines. Chest through the arms, press shoulders down. Point into those feet. Hold, we balance. Next week first, I'll try to remember that we're going to roll back and come back like this. This is just a prep. Open leg rocker. Keep holding. Now bring the legs together, okay? Reach the arms up. Hold. Bring your arms down so that they're parallel. Now you're gonna lift the arms, lower the legs to hover. And then we exhale, return. Teaser three, inhale, lower. Exhale, return. And down, and up. A little bit faster to go. Eight, seven, abs are in. Six, five, four, three, two, one, hold. And then you're going to curl down, bend the legs, open your arms to a T. Squeeze the legs together, point into the feet. We inhale, take the legs over to the right. Knees stay together and level with each other. Belly button to the spine. As you exhale and return the legs to the center. Inhale, over to the left. Exhale and return. Inhale to the right, lengthen out of that left hip, keeping those knees level with each other. Exhale and return. Inhale over to the left, right arm and shoulder blade staying flat on the mat. Exhale and return. Inhale over to the right. Left oblique works to exhale and return the left. Inhale, over to the left. Exhale and return. From here, we straighten into the legs. We point the feet. Deepening those abdominals. We inhale, take the legs to the right. We exhale, circle the legs down. All the way around like you're writing a capital D. And we return to the center. And then we inhale to the left. Exhale, circle around. Inhale to the right. Exhale, circle around. Inhale to the left. Exhale, circle around. One more on each side. Inhale to the right. Exhale, circle around. 
Last one, to the lift. Exhale, circle around. We inhale. Exhale, come up into the chest. So taking your hands to behind your calves. Nice and gently like you're holding a book. We point the feet. We lower the right leg all the way down. Now we're trying to keep both legs straight and long. We pulse just the left leg twice. Exhale. Exhale, inhale, scissor, and change. Inhale, change. And change. Keep going. So our shoulders are relaxed. We're pressing our lower back into the mat. Belly back into the spine. Make sure you're not pulsing the chest. You want that hamstring to be pulling. Last one. Now holding it here. We're going to lower our head. So the right leg should be up, but it doesn't matter if it's not the right. And then just open your arms to your T. Flex into that foot. Again, try to keep the leg straight. We're going into hip circles. If your back is taking strain, please bend the left leg a little bit. We inhale. Exhale, we circle the leg towards the body, down and around for one. Inner thigh is going to be working. And we exhale, circle two. Inhale. Exhale, circle three. Press through with that heel. Exhale, circle four. Exhale, circle five. Exhale, circle six, circle seven, and circle eight. We reverse it. Inhale, exhale, circle away from the body down and around for one. Exhale, circle two. Exhale, circle three. Exhale, circle four. Circle five. Circle six. Circle seven, last one for eight. Point that foot, we inhale, exhale, scissor, and change legs. And now the leg that's up, leg is straight, foot is flexed. Abs are in, inhale. Exhale, circle towards the body, down and around for one. Exhale, circle two. Exhale, we circle three. Circle four. Circle five, circle six, circle seven, and circle eight. Reverse it, inhale. Exhale, circle away from the body, down and around for one. Exhale, circle two, circle three. Exhale, we circle four, circle five. Exhale, circle six, circle seven, and last one for eight. Point that foot, lower it all the way down to the mat, and then you're going to turn over onto your side. Both legs long, bottom arm is up, resting the head down. We're going to lift the upper body and the legs. So using this top oblique to do the work. Sink that belly button to the spine. We inhale. Exhale, lifting legs and the body. Heels are squeezing together. And inhale, coming down. Try hover those legs. Exhale, up for two. Slowly to hover. Exhale, up for three. Slowly hover. Up for four, slowly down. Up for five, and up for six, and lower. Up for seven, lower. Last one, up for eight, and lower. Now bend into the bottom leg. Top leg is straight, abs are in. You're going to just relax the foot. We're going to raise the leg up to the ceiling, bring it back down, and then you're going to circle to the front and And then reach up to the ceiling, circle to the front for two. 
Up to the ceiling. Circle forward three. And left. Circle four. Left. Circle five. Left. Circle six. We're going to do ten of these. Left. Circle seven, tighten those abdominals. Left, circle eight. Left, circle nine. Left, circle ten. Now we're going to reverse the circle. So we left to the ceiling, lower, we circle behind you. And then we left, circle behind for two. Left, circle three. Left, circle four. Left, circle five. Left, circle six. Left, circle seven. Left. Circle eight, two more, left, circle nine, left, and circle ten. Now bend that knee in towards your chest, flex that foot, and we press it up to the ceiling for ten, and nine, eight, seven, six, Five, tighten those abdominals. Four, three, two, and one. And you can raise it down and then we're gonna go over onto the other side. We'll stretch them out afterwards. So first both legs long, use this top of leg, we lift the upper body and the legs, inhale. It's how we lift, try to keep heels together and down to hover. It's how left two, belly button to the spine and lower, shoulders out of your ears. It's how left three and lower. Up for four and lower. Up for five and lower. Up for six. And lower. For seven, lower. Up for eight, and lower. And then we bend into the bottom leg, keeping those abs in. We reach the leg up to the ceiling, and then we lower it, then we circle it to the front for one. Reach to the ceiling, and we circle two. To the ceiling, circle three, tie to those abdominals, to the ceiling, circle four, to the ceiling, circle five, to the ceiling, circle six, relax those shoulders, circle seven, to the ceiling, Circle eight is that glute working to the ceiling. Circle nine to the ceiling. Circle ten. Then we're going to reverse the circle. So to the ceiling and circle back. To the ceiling. Circle two. To the ceiling. Circle three. Ceiling. Circle four, abs are in, ceiling. Circle five, to the ceiling. Circle six, to the ceiling. Circle seven, ceiling. Circle eight, just two more, ceiling. Circle, last one, to the ceiling. And circle. Bend knee to the chest, flex that foot, press up to the ceiling for 10, bend, 9, exhale, 8, 7, 
six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, quickly come up so we can stretch the hips. You can just cross one leg over the other, or you can put ankle on top of me. I prefer ankle on top of me because it stretches both my hips, but it's up to you. So if you're doing ankle on top of me, your lower legs are stacked. And if you can, you can lean down onto them. If it's not stretching enough, you can also bring chest through the arms and press tailbone behind you. Just as long as those hips are stretching. Breathe. And then change. Shoulders are relaxed. Chase through the arms, press the tailbone a little bit back to increase the stretch. And then you're going to lie onto your stomach. Okay, from here, you can rest your thigh down onto your hands. And you're going to bend both the legs. Cross the legs. Doesn't matter which one, just cross. Okay, so starting with the legs basically bent at 90. You're going to press pubic bone into the mat, belly button into the spine. And all you're going to do is you're going to press both legs hard against one another. So it doesn't look like you're doing anything, but you are pressing so hard. So the leg that's at the back, that hamstring will be working. Keep pressing. Keep pressing, keep pressing as hard as you can. So both legs pressing into each other. Keep pressing pubic bone into the mat and then release it. Keep the same cross with the legs and then you want to bring your heels closer towards the glutes. Now in this angle, again, press hard against one another. Doesn't feel normal. <laughs> A little bit harder. We don't stretch our hands up. We don't strengthen our hamstrings in this angle very often. Keep pressing, keep pressing, keep pressing, pubic bone down. And then release it. And then you're going to almost have them straight so they're basically hovering just off the floor. And you're going to press there. As hard as you can. And then release it. So bring them back to 90, change legs. And again, we press. Pressing pubic bone down, abs are in, keep pressing, keep pressing. Press pubic bone into the mat. Okay, 
release it and then bring those heels close to the glutes and again we press tighten those abdominals Keep pressing as hard as you can. Glutes probably also working, but that focus is on the hamstring working hard. And release it. And then have the legs straight hovering off the floor. And we squeeze again. And release it. And cross the legs, straighten them both. And then I want you to take your arms to your rugby posts. Belly button into your spine. Eyeline is on the mat. If you can, I want those legs squeezing. So before we lift, you're going to lift the arms up. Think about pressing your shoulder blades down your back. And you're going to press elbows down and you lift the arms, the hands up a little higher. Then from here, we inhale, lift upper body and the legs. Squeeze shoulder blades a little bit more. And then exhale down. Inhale up for two. Slowly down. Inhale up for three. Slowly down. Inhale, lengthen up for four. Slowly down. Reach up for five and slowly down. Up for six, slowly down. Up for seven, slowly down. Up for eight. Two options. You either hold this, if you can, you're going to bend, grab onto the ankles and lift. So, whichever one you can do, hold. Breathe. And slowly coming down. And just come up quickly onto all fours. Just round your spine up to the ceiling. So we're tilting pubic bone forward, chin to chest. And once you feel like your back's release, released, you can press back into a rest position. Lengthen with those arms. Hold and breathe. And that's our session for today. So when you're ready, you can make your way up.